two hours later. Hello and welcome to day three, or I guess video two, of redoing the tiny home. My name is Vivian. This is my dog, Winston, and we are moving into a tiny home in three months. So, since the last video, we've talked to a plumber and an electrician. We've gotten some professional opinions on how we're going to do the setup. We have a plan for the bathroom, uh, vanity, sink, shower, toilet, all-in-one washer, dryer. I'm super excited. We're going to be ordering stuff soon. Spoiler alert, I picked out a really cute fridge and microwave that's very slay. And what else has happened? Okay, so we ended up taking up the flooring. The subflooring was kind of wiggly. You might have seen that in some of the older clips. So we figured we were going to replace it. We ended up taking it all out, insulation, subflooring, all of it, and just restarting. So there's new insulation in the floor. There's new subflooring. It looks really good in there. I haven't been able to take a video of that, but I will at some point. I might insert a picture of what that looked like um, in between taking it all out and replacing it. Where it was like all empty, it was kind of wild. We took out some of the wall in order to replace the flooring. We also did some caulking around the outside and in the inside because there were some minor like leaks and little gaps in the woodwork. So we replaced all that, it is sealed. We also took out the door, the main like French door. Because it wasn't installed properly. So it was leaking and then it had some weather strip issues. So we took that out completely. There is no door <laughs> right now. There is just plastic. Um, so we're gonna replace that. We found this really cool door online. I will insert a clip of that here. And it's like this big glass French door. It's really pretty. So I'm super excited about that. As far as plans for the future, we've been talking a lot about what we want the kitchen to look like. And we're thinking there's like some galvanized metal up top. I can show some pictures of that. And we're thinking we're actually going to replace all of that like kitchen area walls with just that. So it's like kind of a rustic feel for the kitchen it kind of goes with the barn board that's around where the stairs used to be and so I don't know if that'll be this video but it's going to be at some point point. and part of the reason behind the caulking and stuff is because we're looking at painting it not right now but in the future we're doing a lot of like the base work for what we want to do it, like finishing touches I think next step is going to be appliances and getting the door in also, one last side note, I think I'm going to take some clips of what I've been working on recently, which is like the cutesy fun part. Oops. Um, so I've been doing like plant pots and painting them in like the color scheme of the tiny home. And then I got a really cute doormat. So I'm going to show some pictures of that. I got a vanity mirror that is so slay, so pretty, so cool. I haven't received it yet in the mail. So fingers crossed that she looks like the pictures, but Presuming she does, it's going to be very cute. <laughs> okay, so I have a little haul of stuff, very little haul of stuff that I've bought for the tiny home. I think this mirror, I thought it was going to be bigger. Like I thought it could be like a bathroom vanity, but now I'm thinking it's going to go over the toilet or maybe on the wall as just like a decor mirror because it's not quite big enough. It's from a small business on Etsy. It's very cute though. And I'm super excited about it regardless of the size. She's a little dusty, but it's so cute. It's um, like a dusty pink in person and it's got like these little plastic waves all over it. 
there's you guys in the camera. Wait, you see yourselves? <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, I'm super excited about this. I think this will be really cute for possibly the bathroom, maybe the kitchen, just like on the walls decor item. Okay, and then the next item we have is a doormat. And I normally wouldn't buy stuff from like Target as like decor, just because I think some of it's like kind of basic, but I saw this randomly when I was there last week. Do you see Martin in the background? That's my other dog. Um, <laughs> so I saw it randomly while we were there and I was just like, you know what? That's kind of cute. I like it. And then it was $13 and like the rugs that I was looking at online, the doormats were like 60 minimum and like the same material. So I was like, yeah, no, this will work better. It's like a, I think it's called a mandala. But it's in like the exact color scheme that I was looking for. It's like pink, lilac, rusty brown, peachy orange, like so cute. And it kind of perfectly matches the plant pots that I painted, which I think will be shown at some point in this video. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. These are the two items I have so far. I'm thinking about ordering more stuff, but I'm trying to wait. I'm trying to hold off. It's like really hard because I am, I'm a shopping girly. So it's been really hard not to just immediately buy all of my decor at once. <laughs> but I'm trying to wait until the tiny home is like a little bit closer to being finished before I start buying decor items. But there was a few things that I saw, like the rug in the mirror, that I was like, I just need these. I know I'm going to want them. Like, I need them now. So that's what I have here. Also, really quick, keep the fact that I'm filming in the back end of my car. <laughs> so here's some more stuff that we're getting rid of. There's the door over there. We filled the trailer again with stuff to bring to the dump. And on the inside, we've been working on the ceiling. We took all the ceiling boards out because they weren't installed properly, and we redid all of the insulation. Um, and we're going to put up new boards. We think we're going to do it natural and leave it natural because we're going to be whitewashing the walls. And then there's the floors. These are the new um, subflooring that we did along with new insulation in the floors. So our next steps will really be working on the ceiling. Um, here's a still image of that so you can get a better look at it. So we're going to be putting up boards, and then this is the bathroom, which is super exciting. We have the framing done. So the next steps for the bathroom are going to be getting the plumber and the electrician in there um, when we do the flooring. And then right here is where the washer is going to go. Above that is where the water heater is going to go. We're installing a bigger water heater. And then in the middle is going to be the shower. And then on the far side is going to be the closet, and the toilet's going to go underneath the window. And then the last thing we'll look at in this video is the flooring. So we were deciding between these colors. I actually picked the one on the far right. I really like it because it's kind of in between. It's not super gray, it's not super yellow. So we're gonna be installing that hopefully in the next video. And then the last thing that I've been working on is actually kind of the loft space. I might actually put up a picture here of my mood board that I have so far. Nothing is really definitive at this point in time. I've decided I'm gonna keep like my current bed set up, but I wanna get some new pillows and kind of make it a little bit more boho. Okay, so kind of perfect timing. I'm filming the outro right now and my dad actually just came up to me and was like, hey, here's a little update on the tiny home. So I just found out our next steps are going to be, I don't know how to word this properly, but like setting up the tiny home and digging in the ground for like the plumbing and the electrical, like getting all that ready to be hooked up. Then we're going to have the plumber and the electrician come back and do all of the rest of the wiring that we need, install the toilet, washer, dryer, all that good stuff. We're gonna be ordering the fridge, the microwave, the stove. We got the shower pan and the like shower walls. My dad's gonna be building that in the frame that I showed you earlier on. And hopefully in the next video, in the meantime, we're gonna be whitewashing the walls, installing the flooring. I'm very excited about it because it's like really light and pretty. And then maybe working on the ceiling. I don't know how late of a step that'll be because it's kind of like, the rock wool is like there and set. So I mean, it's not exactly a priority right now. The main thing is we need to get the door. We're actually picking that up this Friday and we're going to be installing that hopefully this weekend, but I'm not really sure yet. It is actually my birthday. So I don't know if we will get around to it because we're going to be gone, but hopefully door will be installed 
and we actually are looking at buying the window to fix the bathroom. We have been to Home Depot three times this week and it is Monday. I almost said Tuesday. I don't even know what day it is because we've been so many times. I am not a Home Depot girly, so I don't want to go back, but we're going to have to. I don't know if I'll film in the store because I get nervous in public, but um, we're going to be getting more stuff. So I'll definitely take pictures and clips and like opening when we get stuff do a little bit of a furniture haul. I got some really cool bedding, which I talked about in the last clip. So I'll definitely post videos opening that stuff. So I will see you next week or maybe the week after, depending on when we get stuff for video three. Never mind. Last minute thought. Um, we also, I forgot to mention, we have issues with the water uh, at like the place where I'm going to be parked in the tiny home so we also got um a water filter system to filter out some of the iron levels because we have super high iron the water is rusty so we're hoping to get that dealt with it's fine it just doesn't look super great and it kind of um ruins clothes so we got a filter for that as well as the water heater today which is woo so exciting we have to get those installed okay now bye for real